Many of our sponsors and givers are people who have got associations with the university. They are alumni, they are governors, they are honorary graduates that we have supported and worked with. And they have, like me and like others, they have a great passion for the subject. What we thought was important in this context of philanthropic giving was to begin to set examples to others. So those of us in leadership positions in the university look to ourselves to set an example. The chairman of our Board of Governors, Lloyd Grossman, encouraged all the governors to put forward uh, donations, philanthropic gifts, scholarships to support specific students and particular kinds of initiatives. I myself have put forward um, scholarships for five undergraduate students each year, students who would not be able to benefit from a creative education without this extra support. When the UCA began looking at philanthropic giving, we thought we'll, we're quite in our infancy with this. It's not an area where we've got a huge amount of experience. So we decided to look around and get some support. And Global Philanthropic have given us this support. Even though Global Philanthropic has got experience of working with a range of different kinds of organizations, um, they were more than happy to help an institution that was very much at the beginning of its journey. It gave me personal advice and my executive personal advice about how you can and need to, in fact, relate any asking that you're doing to the mission, the vision, the strategy of the institution and aligning your needs uh, and expectations and aspirations with things that people care about rather than it just being a sort of cold exercise. We've personally found this very helpful and we've begun in the last 12 months to make such a difference um, and we're now at a position, I think, where we can really take off. Our donors have never been approached by our university and in many cases by any other university for requests for philanthropic funding for scholarships or indeed any other programme. And they don't have any history of that. The fact that when I go and speak to someone who could potentially support one of our projects, to tell them that the executive committee, the vice chancellor, the chairman of the board of governors and all of their colleagues have personally committed to this. It makes such a strong message and gives such a strong impetus to them to help support it. And when you think about it in logical terms, why wouldn't they support it in those terms? And think about the reverse. If the vice chancellor and her colleagues don't make this commitment, why on earth should anybody else? And so these gifts that the institution has made have driven donations very, very quickly as we've developed the programme.